Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, here in this particular video we will learn the breakdown mechanism of PN junction diode. As far as breakdown is concerned, this is related with the characteristics of PN junction diode. So first of all, we'll look at the characteristics of PN junction diode in brief and then we will proceed further for again breakdown region, particularly Zener breakdown and avalanche breakdown of the PN junction diode. Let us look at this characteristics. These characteristics are nothing but the forward bias characteristics in the quadrant number 1 and reverse bias characteristics in quadrant number 3. When I am saying that this is forward bias that means current is flowing from anode to cathode that's why current is positive. So this is current due to majority charge carriers and the current which is flowing in the third quadrant which is exactly in opposite direction that is nothing but from cathode to anode this current is called as minority charge carrier current. So this current is IF and this current is IO which is nothing but reverse saturation current. Now before learning to the breakdown region, first of all we will learn this characteristics. This characteristics we have learned in previous video. This breakdown region occurs due to the fact that minority charge carriers are also present in my P as well as N region of diode. Now when these charge carriers getting accelerated due to the external bias potential into the opposite side of the silicon material, then these electrons will carry more number of electrons this breaks the covalent bond and carry more number of electrons and this results in very very high amount of current which is flowing through the pn junction diode can damage the diode can harm the operation of the diode so let us discuss about the breakdown mechanism of the pn junction diode this breakdown mechanism of pn junction diode is divided into two parts one is low voltage breakdown and another is high voltage breakdown low voltage breakdown is called as zener breakdown and high voltage breakdown is called as avalanche breakdown So first of all, let us concentrate on Zener breakdown. Understand the fact that this Zener breakdown is occurred at low voltage level, which is generally less than 5 volts. This is done, this is because of quantum mechanical tunneling. This quantum mechanical tunneling process that we have to learn and this is due to the high amount of energy that electrons that is minority especially minority charge carriers gain that particular amount of energy and move into another type of the silicon material in the diode. So learning the Zener breakdown is the fact that let us understand this particularly PN junction diode. These are the minority charge carriers. Suppose this is of P type. So holes are majority and electrons are minority. And here I will be having the space charge region. That means only ionic material will be present. This is VD that is barrier potential and this is the width of the barrier. So we can say that the potential difference between these two is nothing but VD and the width is W. What happens exactly when I am providing the particularly external bias potential such that electrons that is minority charge carriers gets accelerated towards the junction. 
Now, when they are moving towards the junction, they collide on some atoms of silicon material. That means here in this particular atom, here in this particular area, all the silicon atoms are sharing the electrons with each neighboring silicon atom. What happens? The electron gains sufficient energy, electron gets and what next this electron gain this energy and breaks the covalent bond actually it gets converted into its kinetic energy so the velocity of the electron with which they are moving towards the n region is increasing that means electrons are getting accelerated And due to the fact that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square, m is a constant mass of electron and the velocity of the electrons will increase. So velocity of electron increases. As this velocity of the electron increases, they colloid on atoms of silicon. which further increases the number of electrons and then they can rupture the barrier in between this p-n junction diode and they can reach here easily. Once they are getting accelerated, having high acceleration, they rupture this particular p-n junction and then they come here with the high amount of number of carriers. So as the number of carriers flowing through the junction with very very high numbers then I can say that yes current is increasing and the stage when comes the number of electrons increment is very very high and it is irrespective of the increment in the external bias potential then I can say that yes breakdown voltage is occurred and even though I'm not changing the voltage external potential further then also my current is increasing increasing and increasing this is because electrons are producing another electrons which increases the number of carriers and in turn the increment in the current which is flowing in opposite direction as the electrons are flowing from anode to cathode conventional current will flow from cathode to anode that means exactly in reverse direction so i can say that as this is the diode i can say the amount of current which is flowing is nothing but from cathode to anode and that is denoted by i0 if this i0 is very very less in magnitude then it will not harmful for pn junction diode but when the voltage external voltage increases obviously number of carriers will increase then the rupture of covalent bond will increase the number of carriers which cross the barrier will again start increasing exponentially the rather than that very very steep manner as mentioned in this particular graph even though I am not increasing the value of the external bias potential with a significant amount then also my value of the current which is very very steeply increasing with very very high amount of value. So now think in that way if I am saying that this breakdown is occurring at low potential then this Zener breakdown is not so much harmful for my diode, right? So we have completed the Zener breakdown mechanism. Next, we will learn the avalanche breakdown mechanism. The process in which the electron cross the barrier without changing its energy level from the valence level to conduction level that is called as tunneling process. So if we are plotting the energy band diagram, the electron is easily crossing that particular barrier 
without converting its energy level rather without moving from valence energy level to conduction energy level they rupture that particular barrier and they comes for the conduction process so this is the shortcut way for the electrons to move from p type to n type and that's why this process is very very accelerating now we will learn the second process that is the avalanche breakdown now in avalanche breakdown basically the word avalanche says that jab himalay se barf girta hai at that time i can say that it's an avalanche so one ice is converting into number of ice so mass increasing as it comes from top level to bottom level so as mass increasing and also due to gravity velocity also increasing so kinetic energy is highly increasing so that's why the word is coming as avalanche breakdown avalanche word we can also say that another word that is avalanche multiplication so the mechanism of avalanche breakdown is coming from avalanche multiplication again this avalanche breakdown occurs for high voltage so generally it is greater than 5 volts now we'll understand the mechanism without drawing the pn junction uh, structure we will understand the phenomena of avalanche breakdown let us consider that this electron is present in one p side of pn junction diode this electron if get sufficient amount of energy to break the covalent bond then what will happen these two are covalent bonds right so let us see this is a hole and this is the electron right and this electron is having sharing and this is called as covalent bond as these electrons are sharing so i can say that if this another electron is moving in this particular direction and get sufficient amount of energy externally to break that covalent bond what will happen this electron carry two electron first of all one electron of its own and second electron from this covalent bond it will get now both the electrons are free to run both the electrons will run in this particular direction right and in this particular path they will find another two covalent bond this one electron this one electron one hole one hole so basically what happens electron and holes ka breakdown karta hai another electron and that is nothing but the process of avalanche breakdown so here number of electrons one here i have got number of electrons two and here if we break this covalent bond then we'll be getting another two plus two electrons that is nothing but four number of electrons and so on i can get the number of electrons in exponential manner one two four eight and then 16 and then 32 and then so on so this is how the electrons are multiplied with the power of 2 1 then 2 2 to the power 4 then 2 to the power 3 is 8 then 2 to the power 4 is 16 and likewise this will increase with a tremendous amount so number of carriers again increases as number of carriers increases then i can easily say that the number of carriers which crosses the barrier is also increasing and the amount of current which is flowing from cathode to anode is also increasing so here we understood the fact that the avalanche multiplication is nothing but the multiplication of the electrons rather charge carriers when they are moving from p channel p side to n side of pn junction diode as this number of electrons increases then this breakdown mechanism occurs due to the fact that keeping voltage same 
the amount of number of carriers increases which crosses the barrier and amount of current which is flowing in opposite direction increases and this is how the process of avalanche multiplication and with this avalanche multiplication mechanism we will be getting the avalanche breakdown and this can damage this can damage your device because i am operating on higher voltage side we will stop here by the understanding the process zener breakdown and avalanche breakdown by understanding zener breakdown there will be one question can we reform one particular device in the form of diode which will carry that particular amount of current keeping the voltage constant so that I can form the particular diode with constant amount of voltage so answer is yes so in the next video we will learn that particular special diode which will keep the voltage constant but at the same time it will limit the amount of current flow which is flowing in the opposite direction so we'll stop here by understanding this break breakdown mechanism learn more and more EDC along with me along with EKDA videos thank you so much